everyone, I'm Donna Ruco and you're on the list. ASU is making a change no one else has dared to make yet. Brian McElhatton says it's one of the top three stories that have us tweeting and retweeting around the valley. At number one, So Long State Press, the Arizona State University student newspaper, gone after today. At least the print version. This is the last print edition. It's going all digital from now on because the kids aren't reading the print anymore. But you can still get plenty of other magazines, College Times, Random Girl Eating a Salad. And here's a random fact for you. Al Michaels from Monday Night Football used to write for this paper when he was a Sun Devil back in 1963. So goodbye State Press print edition. Hello State Press, all digital. At number two, we're with Ben and Matt at 1025 KNIX talking about these new ringtones from Arizona Game and Fish Guys. You can have the sounds of Mother Nature on your smartphone. Now these are Arizona sounds. Elk, which we are known for here in the high mountains. Elk sound like whale to me. I know, right? Oh, I like that one. Yeah, like in line at the bank, if you're following up, like, oh, is that must be Arizona duck. I can tell. But clearly yeah. it's not that California that. duck. <laughs> yeah. I think we're leaving the obvious out. The coyote, the most obvious Arizona nature sound of them all. <laughs> yeah, it's not too abrasive. Plus, we got a hockey team, you know. It, you know it's very fitting. At number three, <laughs> petting zoos often have sheep and goats, but few of us can say we've had the pleasure of petting a geep. <laughs> I'm just here to touch your baby. My petting zoo of Cave Creek didn't even know mama sheep was pregnant. They have no male sheep, but they do have a male goat. Hence, their baby, Butterfly the Geep. She was born this week and believed to be the only one of her kind in the state. <laughs> and now you're caught up and clued in around the valley. I'm Brian McElhatton.